All right, so in the last uh, video, in the last lecture, we actually learned how we can create these models, right? And we ran our migration, and now we have models in the database. If I go over here and say DT, so we have a post table and we have comments table. If I select from, there's nothing in there, but if I select from comments, you can see that there's nothing really in there, but it has all these fields that I actually need. Title and body. And the same is true for also for posts. Title and body. Now, for comments, I forgot to add one field, username. And what do I do now? Right, so I need to add username field to comments. And in ORM, you do this by adding a migration. And these are the migration files right now. And you'll see that each of these migration files, the post and the comment, it's basically in JavaScript, but what it does is that whenever you run the migration, it goes through this file, and then it creates these uh, this table with these columns, title, body, created at, updated at, and then creates the table, which we saw over here. Now don't edit, don't edit these files. Create a new migration file. So let's go ahead and create a migration file where we can update our, or migrate our comments table to have a username field, all right? All right, so let's go back to this the command line. And I am going to say SQLize and migration create. And as soon as I run this, it's going to tell me that it has created a migration file. But look at the name of the migration file. It's saying unnamed migration and some sort of a migration number, which is basically based on the current date and time. And here's our migration file. The first thing you do is definitely rename it, not the whole part, but the unnamed migration ends. And name it to something that is more descriptive. What are you doing in this migration? Well, I'm actually adding a username column to my database. Okay, so adding username column to comments. That's basically what we're trying to do, right? Add a username column to the comments. And now it has been renamed. This is a migration file. It has the up function and it has the down function. Up function is basically, let's just say, adding stuff. If you want to add a column, alter a column. If you want to go back in time, if you want to revert your migration, that's what you write in your down function. If you look at the other files like uh, create comment migration, this was automatically done by DB Migrate when we created our models, Look at the up function. Up function is creating the table, comments. Look at the down one. It's dropping the table, meaning deleting the table. Let's look at the create post. Creating a table called post. Dropping the table called post. All right. So let's start with our up function over here. What do we want to do? We want to not really create a table. We already have a table called comments we want to add a username column to that particular table. So query interface dot add column. First argument parameter is the name of the table. All right, so it's comments. Second argument is the uh, name of the column that you want to add. All right, username. And then you can specify over here the type of the column. So I believe the type is uh, sqlize dot string. All right. And that's pretty much it for the username column at least. So whatever you have done over here, you're adding a column in the down method or a function 
you want to remove it. All right. So basically think of it as if you are, you know, climbing a mountain, you want like to go back also, like those safety points that you add on a mountain. So you're going up, but you also want to go down using those safety points. And you want to remove them when you're done with those. So if I say over here, query interface dot remove column, so basically I'm doing the opposite of what I did over here in the app. Remove column from from where? Which uh, table? Comments. And what is the name of the column you want to remove? Well, let's call it username. And that's it. So this is our simple migration. Let's go ahead and run this migration. So let's go to the terminal. And if I want to run this migration, I'm simply going to say uh, db migrate. All right, so it ran the migration. You can see that it's upgrading and it's running this migration, right? So if it ran this migration successfully, I can actually go to my database table and I can do a select from comments. Obviously there's nothing in the comments. I just want to see what fields are there. And look at that. It actually added a new field, username, right? That's what we did. We have added a new column to our database table. So now we can actually store username of the user. Um, let me run this SQLize uh, TV migrate help. All right, so this is going to give you the, all the different things you can do with uh, migrate and all that stuff. So I want to go back again. I don't want that field. Sorry, I don't really want the username. So I'm going to run this db migrate undo. All right, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say SQLite db migrate undo. Now this is going to undo the last migration. What was the last migration? The last migration was where we were adding the column. So whenever you say, you say undo, it is going to fire the down method. And whatever you're doing in the down method gets executed, meaning you're going to remove the column from the table, comments, column name, username. Let's go ahead and run this. All right, so it actually ran. So if it ran correctly, if I'm going to go back to my database and run, select all from comments, and now you can see username is gone. All right. So in this small video, you learn how to create a very simple migration that allows you to add a string column to your table called comments. And in the next video, I'm going to show you that how you can do a little bit more complicated migration where you are adding a foreign key to comments and basically you are trying to create a relationship between the post and the comments.